It's New Year's Day and for 2024, I'm going to attempt to draw every single day. I first heard about the Daily Doodle Diary from Miriam Tilson. If you haven't heard of it before, it's basically a challenge where you get yourself a diary and attempt to draw in it every single day. I freaked out this lavender one because it's such a lovely colour. Even though it says it's a day a page, unfortunately I wasn't able to find one that had Saturday and Sunday separately. So I'll be going a little bit easier on Saturday and Sunday. It's a five and it's not super great quality but that doesn't matter because it's just for doodles. I do try to draw most days but unfortunately sometimes it just doesn't happen. I think this diary is going to really hold me accountable and because it's called a daily doodle diary it doesn't matter what goes in there. It could be little pen sketches, pencil sketches, I could use paint, I could do a little bit more proper stuff, I could do whatever I want. I'm really excited by this challenge, let's see if I can do it. But first, we need to do the cover page. I've got these Poskas, which I'm gonna be trying to use. I am gonna be seeing this notebook every single day, so I want it to look pretty. My favorite stickers I own are these holographic ones, which would be so pretty. I really love these doors, but they're quite big but I feel like if I'm gonna be looking at this every single day I want to make it look really pretty and put my favorite stickers on do you see what I mean that is quite big <laughs> yeah that, that's really big but I love them so much it would be really lovely to have all three of the hollow stickers that I own there I just think these are so pretty I really like that design actually this one could work potentially a little bit better we want to write daily doodle diary but then these three don't really fit down here unless we just do a tiny one unless we do it like that maybe and pop something down here that could work the other one that I really love that I think might fit this theme a little bit better is this frog oh I didn't notice this one's got crystal oh no so now they've all got the crystals except for this one but maybe nothing will go now because the they're all kind of crystal. Oh no, that one. Okay, I feel like they kind of go because they're a similar colour, these are a similar colour, and then obviously you've got like the crystal hollows to tie them all together. Okay, I think a washi that might work. It's like a light blue with some rose gold leaves that could potentially work here. Okay, so it doesn't look as good because the tape there, but it kind of wasn't bending around so I had to move it across a bit and I hope it still sticks fine because I had to remove it like six or seven times. Don't have much space now. And then this one I'm going to pop like in the corner and if it goes over, it goes over. I just don't want it going over the edge. I might make this look a little bit more like a collage just to make the wonkiness fit a little bit better. We need to do the title now so I get the Oscars out. Just doing the placement right now and then I'll make it sort of prettier afterwards. But I might go a little bit kind of wonky and childlike. This looks really extra and I love it, but I think we need something here. We could do a tiny stamp, maybe. This is what it's looking like. I actually really like the whole maximalist cluttered look. I think it will really go with them just being doodles and it being a really chill place to just literally doodle in every day. I'm really excited to use it. Let's do the first page. 
Do you have that fear of filling the first page of a sketchbook where you're scared of drawing anything and it looking bad because it sets the precedent for the entire sketchbook and seems like it's doomed forever? Yeah, that's what I have and most of the time is completely valid. It happened here. The first page never goes right for me. I chose the words because I think of that King Theoden meme quite often. It's from Lord of the Rings at the start of the battle for Helm's Deep. So naturally, I thought of those words. I drew a strange little elf, troll, goblin, witch thing next to it. I don't know, it's a funky idea, but it gets better from here, trust me. <laughs> On the second day, I painted a movie scene for the scene series, and that will be coming out soon. The main colour for that one was cadmium red, so I thought I'd just stick with that colour and try watercolour immediately in the Doodle Diary and see how that went. The paper warped about as much as you'd expect. Hi, yeah, uh, it's the 5th of January today, and I literally just drew the most adorable sketchbook page. I'm so happy with how it turned out. The colours look a lot less vibrant on camera. And for this one, I actually only used four colours. I literally used. So I thought since that's the medium that I've got out today, I'd just continue doing it for the Daily Doodle. And since I last saw you, I did this one because the watercolour on the other side actually went through the page so I ended up sticking a little bit of paper down here, I did a butterfly and then I did this drawing as well I just thought I'd do a slightly different style drawing I did this for a video, it's up on my channel or will be by the time that you're seeing this so let's do the fifth Seems to hold me like you do mm -hmm. You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have fell from the sky. It's the final day of the first week, so I thought we should do the Doodle Diary together. Today is actually a really small one. It's like half size. Also, something kind of cool. I've made a pot of random prompts. This is something that I talked about ages and ages ago in one of my art vlogs. There's like 300 prompts in here, and whilst this is planned for sketchbook work, I thought it'd be really handy for the Daily Doodle Diary in case I'd struggle to come up with any ideas, I can literally just pull a prompt out and that's what we're gonna do today. The last few days I've been really enjoying using whatever I had to hand and like right now that is my Neo colours but I really don't want it to transfer onto this side. It might not because the previous page hasn't but I don't think I want to risk it so I might just use my biro because I know that that's safe. Let's use the pot, let's see what we're gonna be drawing today. We've got coral, which would be great for neo colours. I do also have colour pencils next to me, which I could use, and that might not transfer as much. Let's see if we can find a reference. I'd like something that is low, so that I don't have to like touch that one. I really like the first one, to be honest. I love the shapes in this orange coral, so maybe we'll try and do that a little bit. These shapes are kind of crazy, but you know what? I'm also thinking to maybe do negative space and actually fill in the background or lines. I'm not too sure. The only reason I'm really doing this in bio is just because I want to try and protect that portrait as much as I can. Another thing I really want to practice is actually using biro and try to get a little bit lighter with my lines. You can see it's not super even because I just don't have much experience with like the weight of a biro and pressure. And I might try and make certain areas a little bit darker. I think that's added a little bit more dimension. I'm going to go back in with the colour pencils now. I'm going to keep them mostly white, looking kind of like negative space. I 
And that's how today's sketch went. I used colour pencil here and a little bit of biro for the background. I think it's really cute. I think the whole spread looks really good. And I haven't missed a day yet. Hopefully the second week will be just as strong. I've just really quickly done today's doodle diary, so let me show you what I've made. Okay, so first things first, I painted this portrait. It's kind of, it's a self-portrait. So then I loosely used this painting as a reference, and this painting is a reference from a photo. The features are very over the top, but I kind of like it. It's quite quirky. It only took like five minutes. So I did this one, obviously. Then this is just a really simple like thumbnail sketch for an idea. This is the bird for the 9th of January. It's the white crested helmet shrike. And I used neo colors for this and I just thought it'd be really cute to hop on this. And then I didn't want to disturb the neo colors too much and that's why I decided to use pencil. I would have liked to have used watercolor, but honestly, like on this paper, watercolor could reactivate the neo color and then color this entire page. And that's the temp all done. Hi there, it's the 11th of January and we're going to move on to today's daily doodle and for this one we're going to be using a really fun art supply. On Christmas day I made this. I asked my partner to get me a couple of cheap water brushes because I wanted to try and fill up one of these with gouache. Well, let's see what today's prompt is going to be. That is an interesting one. Okay, let's give it a go. I added a lot of white, a lot of paint to try and make it as opaque as possible and I like the opacity but I feel like it would have been easier to control if there was more water. There wasn't so much of a flow so a lot of the time it's kind of dry brushing but honestly I don't know I think it has potential. Obviously it's very warped on this paper but hopefully it'll flatten out a little bit. For today's daily doodle, we're going to be doing junk journaling, which I've never tried before. This is super warped to the paper, so I think we're going to need to collage and stick some things down just to try and flatten it a little bit. And I've never tried junk journaling, so I think it's going to be really fun. Yesterday, I picked up this book. It's super secondhand, so it's got lovely brown paper. It's my first time using a book, and I feel a bit bad, but it is very used. And this is my scraps collection that I've got so far of just leftover bits of paper, Christmas cards that people send, and wrapping paper. I feel like the first place that we should begin is just trying to smooth out this paper, maybe sticking down some really big pieces. This is one of the smaller chunks that I got from the Jackson's Art Order. So I might just tear it down this perforated line to be honest. Although to be fair, this probably won't smooth it out. I'd like to cover up the majority of the page. I feel like I might need to stick some washi tape or something down here just to really keep that down. I have this leftover washi tape that I used when I painted movie scenes and we could use this because this has already been used so it would be perfect. Let's try this book now. Got this wrapping paper as well that could be quite cool. Let's try sticking some stuff down now.
I don't know how people make pieces look so cohesive because mine doesn't. Mine definitely looks like it's been used from scraps. I really like the paper from the book, I think that's cool. But I think that's pretty cute, it's nice to try something different and my sketchbook is looking so different now. Every single page looks so different and I love it. It was really fun that we got to do this together. I think for the next couple of days, because they're just little ones, I'm probably going to do them by myself. I'm really sorry that the lighting's a little bit crazy. It's like minus three degrees outside. I don't know why it's so sunny. I've tried using some alcohol markers. I got a set for Christmas and because I've never used them, I wanted to have a little bit of a play around first and they were really fun. I did this really simple flower vase thing and I think it's so cute. Then the next day I did this kind of night sky. This is the flower and the bleed through was so pretty. I wanted to reuse it. So this is what I did made it look a little bit like a window to sort of repurpose the bleed through. This one was inspired by something that I saw in Sophie McPike's sketchbook tour. Then on the next page we've got this spread. I really love both of these because this one was neo colour I had to do something simple on this side so they didn't transfer but I think this is such a pretty spread. It was just a biro and it managed to bleed through this much. Should we figure it out together? Should we do today's sketch? I'm not gonna lie, my main aim with this drawing was to cover up the biro transfer from the previous page. When I first started getting back into art, I only really painted landscapes, but nowadays I never draw them and I rarely paint them. I got myself a little drawing sketchbook to take outside, which you might have seen me use in my art vlogs, and I've really enjoyed drawing more and drawing what I see around me. So when I found this cute little house on Pinterest, I knew that's what I wanted to try and draw. These are the three colours that I used. I wanted to just use the spring green, I think it's called, and the orange. I ended up using the brown to conveniently try and cover all of the marks that came through, and I think I did a pretty decent job by just trying to cover up each individual mark with brown. I don't know, what do you think? Does it work? I got a set of alcohol markers for Christmas and I've only used them a handful of times and only in this doodle diary. I do want to give them a try on mixed media paper and see how they actually work because this paper can only handle about two to three layers and then it starts to look muddy or kind of fall apart. Still, the markers are really fun to use. I'm kind of getting used to the bleed through. Because I mostly use paint, that's not something I've had to deal with before. I had roses in front of me so I just decided to draw those in a slightly abstract way but I often tend to do my own thing and completely forget to look at the reference, it's not very accurate. It is the 24th daily doodle I think and this one is going to be a difficult one. This is yesterday's. And that's today's. Like, that looks virtually the same. The bleed through is crazy. I have my glue stick, I have a load of stickers and scrapbook paper. If we start with the scrap section, I've got this bit of yellow. I've got some brown pieces from the junk journal page. I have these purple strips as well. And one thing that I knew I wanted to use for no real reason was this washi tape. I don't know, it was just calling to me. I really don't know if this is going to work at all. Oh, I think that one might be a little bit too big. I really love this washi, I think it's so pretty. This is the current situation, I've only used scrap paper and I don't know, there's something kind of cute about it. I think the best part of the Doodle Diary so far is I am experimenting so much. What I created yesterday was just a nice simple flower, nothing too special, and then today with the bleed through. I mean it's got to the point you can't even see what's underneath very much, but 
Isn't that kind of crazy? I never would have created anything like this before and I think it's kind of cute. I don't know, it's kind of cute. What do you think? Let me know down below. Okay, I was feeling pretty bold this day. I'm new to alcohol markers, but I decided to grab them and attempt to draw an entire portrait. It was tricky, I'm not gonna lie. I found a cute reference on Pinterest, and the markers bled over the biro I was using, so I had to lay down the markers first and add biro afterwards. Honestly, I think I prefer the markers on their own. I tried to refine and add details with the biro, but I think it kind of ruins it. What do you think? I feel like I just should have left it. I quite like the subtle looks and maybe in future I'll try this again just using the markers. Today I'm thinking we're going to take it really simple. I've got a blue biro. Today is a Saturday so we've only got half a day to work with. This is what I did yesterday. So I'm thinking if we use a really cheap biro, I want to try it on this side and see if it will go through the page. The black biro goes through the page. The markers go through the page. Zebra mild liners go through the page. Gouache is actually fine. The neo colours do tend to transfer a little bit onto the other side. This green highlighter went through the page. The Poscas went through the page. And the watercolour went through the page. We've only got half a page, so let's hope for something nice and simple. Oh, okay. We're gonna somehow do a swamp. for Swamp. I used a magic card as a reference and I think my partner's going to do something similar. He's also doing the Daily Doodle Diaries challenge and when I show him that this is the prompt that I got I think he's going to want to do one too so I thought that would be cute. That's pretty decent actually. I mean this bit here I was really pressing down and it's not gone through very much. I think gel pen will probably go through the page to be honest but this is how this one's looking I think that looks so cool I don't know what I'm gonna do for this one I don't know I might stick with the theme you know because that's biro that's biro maybe I'll do a different biro or gel pen hi there it's the next morning I hope you're doing well for today's daily doodle I think we're gonna use biro that's what we said yesterday I've got my doodle diary, I've got a random black biro which I'm hoping won't go through the page and it's time to pick out a prompt. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be okay. Alright, let's figure out what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna go for it and because this one is spooky we're gonna go for a slightly spooky theme again. What do you think? Should I just end this here? Two ghosts. I don't really know whether it's the background that should be dark or the tombstones. Some of the ones that I've done are very much just idea pieces, just trying a concept. I don't use biro, I really don't draw with biro, so it's quite nice trying different mediums for this challenge. I don't know how popular the challenge actually is because I've been calling it a daily doodle diary challenge because that's what Miriam Tilson calls it. I think what we've learned so far is if you rush biro it's not really gonna work. I think that's half the problem why I struggle with biros because 
It's just don't have the patience. Okay, this is how it's turned out. You can see the cross hatching just wasn't done very well. It was kind of rushed. It took me about 10 minutes. How fun is this spread though? It looks so cool. It looks so different to anything I normally create. Oh, hello there. How are you doing? Yesterday we went to Hobbycraft together. I've actually filmed it for a future art vlog and I didn't get very many things. I was very restrained. We got this and I also got these. Let's open them up and do some swatching. It looks like they work very similarly to Posca's. They are just oil-based. I don't know if that will make much difference. I'm hoping it will still be okay on all types of paper. It's a really lovely size, this one. It is 2.2 to 2.8. Silver, try now. Okay, what do we think of that? I think the silver definitely looks better on the black paper. It's hard to show that it's shiny. I think I'm just gonna do some doodles around here. And then tomorrow, because we've got nothing on this side, we're gonna try the pens here. I think it would make sense to only use one. So I might try the gold because the silver looked really good on black. So I wanna see if the gold looks good on white. I've seen a few things on Pinterest and I think this is the kind of vibe for today. I love how full the spread is and it's just full of little random things. So that's what we're gonna attempt. Oh, that's really interesting. That's virtually black, isn't it? That's like kind of gray on the other side. Here's how the page has turned out. It looks kind of like a chaotic doodly mess. This is all that I used. It's the final day of January, so if I manage to complete this doodle diary, then I've done it every single day of the month, which is a really good start. Ooh, okay, yeah, I think this one will work. This is kind of what we're gonna end up with, but pink probably. I'm thinking like a typical palm tree might be like this one. I think when I make more of these brush pens I'm gonna have to add more water to them. You know all the ways I like it. My north, you my south, you my east, you my west. When you see me at my worst, try to make me feel my best. This love we just can't deny it. You know all the ways I like it. You holding me tangled up in the sheets holding you I might leave this here it's a super simple one and you can see what's underneath but i don't know i kind of like it it doesn't bother me and that is the first month all done i'm pretty excited about this new art challenge it's my biggest yet do you think i'll be able to draw every day of the year let me know down below thank you for being here in the first month we've got lots more doodle diary content coming up please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and want to see the next one and i'll see you on sunday with another video bye